The two settlements since 2009 to 2012 benefited from a basic income grant test project where every person under the retirement age was given $100 on a monthly basis. This was to be eventually taken to other parts of the country, but it all came to a halt. According to participants from different institutions, the basic income grant contributes to the creation and enhancement of local economies. People say this basic income grant makes people lazy and so on, but this village became alive as a result of this basic income grant. We saw a lot of businesses taking place, going up in, in all places and people, you know, um, buying all kinds of stuff. If this is nationally, uh, the people are moving from rural areas to the, to the urban centers in search for job op opportunities. So if there is some sense of income at the village where they are coming from, I think this can also reduce and the pressure of uh, uh, urbanization and it also promote a local economy within the rural setup. The meeting proposes to explore the relevance of an eventual basic income grant in Namibia to urban dwellers. The most direct um, kind of intersection of the idea of a, of a basic income grant um, and urban development is to say like, you know, by introducing cash into circulation, into areas and, 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 and you know, parts of society where it is otherwise very scarce, um, we would then you know, provide one very fun, fundamental basis for enabling or kind of supporting local um, small-scale economies that are already happening in most cases. The meeting was held under the theme locating the intersection between the basic income grant and urban livelihoods development in Namibia. Selima Henok, NBC News, Ventuk.